brain? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person up there? You know, other than the. Shit! Crane's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the... Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her, but... You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. You were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't say that that the pain of losing Lily. Your will Highness. Oh, I know as uh, well Sheriff. Never I'm sorry. I uh. But I also know that I didn't see you there. Did you know the deceased, Lily? Oh, um, no, not really. I just came because it, I don't know, felt like a thing I should do, I guess. I was angry at first, when I heard that Lily was getting a funeral, and Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too, and I wanted it for Faith, but then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evens out in the end. None of this was your fault, Lords. It wasn't my fault, but I didn't stop it. Take care of things, okay? Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. After you... This genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. This one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm sure everything's okay in Big B's world. You just walk through the fucking raindrops, right? Okay, okay, look. Big B and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? And it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it. I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. You drag me away from a funeral and now you want to pull the lost little kid in a mall routine? Look, I can't read your mind and I don't really feel like standing here trying, so I'm going back. We'll talk about this later. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. Hotel. Did you find anything? No. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Coming! How do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. 
We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Is that a yes? I don't know. I don't know either. Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural, like we're just out having a spring picnic. This is a private matter between Bigby and us, so if you all just please... What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? Freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move! Yeah, listen to your lady love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! I got it done! Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I don't know. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. He's... He was a conniver. A, it could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. But after tonight, it's on my mind. It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's not here. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I was an option. No, we can't depend on the mirror. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. I need to know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. There's only so much you can repress, you know?
Come on, let's keep looking. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. Oh, it isn't? No, and frankly, it's none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. It's okay. We can all work together. Right? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? Get her to spend my money. Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. It'll have to do for now. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. The more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. It's the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is... The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. We're closed. Fuck off to the East Village. We're not open. Can you fucking hear me? Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Gren, come on. Sit down over here. What the fuck, man? I'm in a good goddamn mood. You should all take advantage. shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave them both bar mess. Certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Gren, 
Don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. To the dead. All right, now help me. Think about it, it's done! What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was... Fucking loser, Sheriff. He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. That you, Woody? <sighs> Woody? Is that you? Woody. Bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so... You can run off back to the woods, I guess. Her at all. She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. I thought you were a friend. Know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. But, you know, it's not like he's. Getting your glamour on. Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts and initials. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. I'll head over to Crane's apartment, see what I can find. Bluebeard burned everything. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me, threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Honest! Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the Crane's stuff? If they 
was something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the Trip Trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten- I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Did you make an appointment? Because I can let you in if you want to wait. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. It's probably top secret government type stuff, right? It's been a, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. I think I'm gonna get lost. He said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Otherwise... Well, it's nice working here anyway. I was just gonna clean their office next. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. To take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Right. You know about this? Uh, no. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. D always tells me you have to be assertive. They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? Or who? All kinds. It's just they, they've done so much for me. Said. Just just trying to make an honest living. See? I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not. I mean, how many guys do you know that would be willing to help me out like they did? I mean, how many people would bother to ask me, the janitor, how my day's been? Or if I wanted to split a jelly donut? I can tell you. No one, except maybe you. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Big B? Shit. There's something here. I know they're flycatcher. That's why. They aren't detectives. Bigby, what happened to your... You wanna know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotgun! I, I, I didn't know. I didn't mean to... 
There's a door behind this file cabinet. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woods? Should I tell someone? How about Miss White? Have her meet me there. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Do you have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm Miss White, and this is Mr. Wolf. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Has a man been in here recently? Maybe, uh, seeming kinda nervous? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. <sighs> Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. What do you think it'll be? I can have my mom call you later or something. Finished yet? The time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please! I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. What? Not sprightly enough? I should have known that it was this hideous wretch that's been handing out glamours like crack. You don't know anything, honey. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Where is Crane? What was his plan? How am I supposed to know? He came, he went, like all young lads. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Don't you understand what's at stake here? Crane murdered someone. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? You have no idea what's going on, do you? You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Look, I'll tell you what's going on, just don't burn my tree. Crane was here, okay? He, he was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. Accountable for this. I can't. 
can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... You both know what's going on. Just tell me. Crane, get away from them. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just, just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. It's just, just let me show you. This will solve everything. Are you all right? <laughs> Please, Sheriff, I'm telling you the truth when I say that I did not kill that woman. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to- Shut up. Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. You said you found evidence of him defraud- He's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this- Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now I know, and I'm sorry, but... If the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. We want to know too. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for your right to counsel. The right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Except getting caught, right? I haven't told them anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Guys? Speak English? You're interfering with Fabletown no, business. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. For a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. I told you he'd never just give him up.
Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. 